looking into the ab rollout and how to do it correctly, this is how it should look. Let's talk about position. Get your knees close to the ab roller. Get your hands to start right below your shoulder. And think now that this point in my shoulder and this point in my hips, they need to move together forward and back. This is a short rep. Secondly, I want you to use your breathing in to help you. So we're going to breathe in as we go forward, breathe out as we come back to help use better those ab muscles. How far you go only really matters on how well you can come back. That means these two points are going forward together. They should also come back together. This is what I don't want to see. You've gone too far and now you pushed your hips back instead of actively bringing those hands with you. So once I get far, I'm gonna pull my hands in towards me and help these two points move together in a nice um, steady pace. Forward, steady together. Don't let those hips pop back. If you can't go all the way forward, but you can go to here and come back to here together, that's where you start. You can also do this with the barbell, and it actually does not matter how much weight there is in the barbell because you're only really using it for the wheel. that is the rollout with the wheel or with the barbell.